गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस शेल मॉडल ऑफ न्यूक्लियस इट्स एविडेंसेस एक्सेट सो द न्यूक्लियर मॉडल्स व्हाट आर मॉडल्स फॉर इजी डेमोनस्ट्रेशन ऑफ द कॉम्प्लेक्स सिस्टम्स लाइक द न्यूक्लियस एंड एनी काइंड ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स सिस्टम्स वी जनरली यूज द मॉडल्स for example the molecular model of the dna the double helical structure of dna represents the original dna like that this nuclear model is a simplified view of nuclear structure containing the essentials of nuclear physics so a nuclear model should follow these conditions it must account the previously known nuclear properties means already known properties should be obeyed by the proposed model and also it must predict the additional properties which can be measured in later so these are the essential characteristics of a nuclear model so we are going to discuss few such models in this class we will discuss the shell model so shell model of nucleus a nuclear model in a in analogy with the atomic shell model is the nuclear shell model we know that in atomic case the properties of an atom is primarily determined by the valence electrons and hence in nuclear shell model also the valence nucleons determine the properties of the nucleus see we already studied that in atomic case the electrons are distributed in this kind of orbits this 1s 2s 2p 3s in this order obeying the pauli's exclusion principle in different shells then in each shell the subshells are there so this kind of distributions and the electrons are filled in their energy order in this order obeying this pauli's exclusion principle just like this we assume that the nucleons are also filled inside the cells then each cell each shell uh, there will be the subshells and each subshells are filled according to their energy and spin like that so we will see some evidences for the shell model so see this figure so this is the atomic radius variation with proton number atomic radius of various elements with for proton number so this is the the x axis is the proton number and y axis is the atomic radius see in each shell as the proton number increases the radius decreases since the bonding between the nucleus and the electrons increases that is why the radius decreases so in e every shell this happens okay so this end shows this end shows the completeness of a shell here also you can see this is the completeness of a shell this is the completed completeness of a shell this is the completeness of a shell like that and also the ionization energy variation of elements you can see with respect to proton number here also as the bonding strength increases the ionization energy should increase therefore you can see the ionization energy increases when the valence shell complete means to then 8 like that 
this n is this mean r d increases, this increases. So this becomes maximum when the shell completed. The shell is completely filled. So this is the completeness, shell completeness and it is observation in atomic world. So both shows the smooth variation in these properties corresponding to gradual filling of an atomic shell and sudden jumps shows the transition to the next shell. So these sudden jumps, these jumps, these jumps, these jumps shows the transition to the next shell. So this is the case of atoms. Now we are going to see some similar observations in nuclear world. So the two proton separation energies of sequences of isotons versus the nuclear number, the x-axis is the nuclear number and y-axis is the two proton separation energies means to separate two protons okay the water energy is required that is a two proton separation energy so it is equivalent to almost equivalent to the ionization energy of atomic case you can see at these numbers means 8 20 28 50 82 this becomes maximum means showing a completeness character just like the atomic case and two neutron separation energies of isotopes. Isotope means the nuclei with same proton number. Okay, means the uh, nuclei of same element with different neutron numbers are the isotopes. So for different isotopes also you can see this increases at these values, this A, 20, 28, 50, 82, 126, these values, this becomes maximum, just like the ionization energy of the atomic world. So the sudden changes at these indicated values, called the magic numbers, 2, 8, 20, 28, 50, 82, and 126, so these are called the uh, magic numbers. So these sudden changes at these numbers are clear from this picture. So now see some other observations. The energies of alpha particles emitted by isotopes of radon not the sudden increase when the daughter nucleus has n equal to 126. You can see this y-axis represents the energy of the alpha particle and this is the neutron number. So all this observation corresponds to the radon isotopes. So when the neutron number of the radon increases, what happens, you can see the alpha produced by the, this alpha decay decreases and at neutron number n equal to 126, this, there is a sudden jump in, sudden increase in energy of alpha particle. Again, it becomes maximum and again it decreases. So it shows that uh, this alpha particle will have the maximum energy, more energy when the daughter nucleus is more tightly bound. When it is more tightly bound, it will prefer that n equal to 126 structure and it easily drops that two extra neutrons. That is why this occurs. So this also shows the importance of n equal to 126 
it was a magic number. See another observation, the cross-section, the neutron capture cross-sections is the neutron capture probability of various nuclei. You can see this is the variation. So this, this dots represents various elements, various nuclei. But you can see some sudden decreases at some points. So the cross section decreases by roughly two orders Means at these points. Here it is nearly uh, some eight or like that. It is in it is not in linear scale, but it is in this logarithmic scale. That is why this decreases, this value decreases roughly two orders of magnitude near the neutron number n equal to 50. This n equal to 50, you can see this n equal to 50. Here it is almost 80. Here it is almost some 20 or 30 or like that. And here also you can see the 100 is 100, uh, but here it becomes um, 8 or 9 or like that, and here also like that. So at n equal to 50, 80, 2, 1, 126, the neutron capture cross section decreases abruptly. So this also shows the importance of these numbers n equal to 50. 82 and 126. So this also shows, means the neutron capture cross section decrease means the neutron at these numbers are more stable to the neutron capture. Means they are more stable at these nucleon numbers at this C1 more evidence. This number of neutrons. So this is the change in nuclear so radius when delta n equal to 2 means the two of neutrons the are added at to an atom. What happened to so a nucleus, what happens to its radius? As we saw in the case of atomic radius, as the number of electrons are added in, in the shell, if it is filled in the same shell, the radius decreases, but when the shell is completely filled, it goes to the next higher shell, then the radius increases. So just like that, here, when two neutrons are added, what happened to the nuclear radius? So that is the figure. So you can see the sudden jumps at the neutron number n equal to 20, then again 28, then 50, then 82, then at these numbers. So all these demonstrate that just like atomic case, nucleus also shows the field behavior when the nucleon number either neutron or z becomes 2, 8, 20, 28, 50, 82, and 126. And these numbers are called magic numbers. So this neutron or proton number represents the complete, completely filled nuclear structure. Okay, thank you.